We're going to Lofoten. Yeah. No. One, two, three. We're going to Lofoten. Hello, good afternoon everyone. Welcome to my vlog. <laughs> Welcome back to another road trip. In the last video, we went from Oslo to Bergen, but this time we rented a motorhome and went all the way from Oslo up in the north in Lofoten, Norway. Lofoten is located on top of Norway and is pretty known for its sceneries and the famous midnight sun during the summer where the sun never goes down. Watch our journey of how we travel all the way up to the north. Okay, now we have arrived here at the camping site at uh, Rora. So far we have driven 580 kilometers from Oslo to here and it took us almost 12 hours. We started at 9 and we arrived almost 9 o'clock also. We had some issues along the way. You know, first time driving a uh, RV. I feel like we are overloaded. We have we, we brought too much. But this uh, RV is 7.4 meters long. I think it's around uh, more than two meters wide. It's my first time driving this car, so many things I have to learn, like how to how to charge the electricity. <laughs> it's like driving a minibus. You know, I feel like I'm a bus driver driving this thing. <laughs> but it was fun. Uh, you just have to be careful uh, driving it. Um, we were just done eating dinner, so right now I'm going to take a shower so that I'm ready for tomorrow and as well as that I can feel fresh for tonight. Okay, now we are on our second day here in, in our trip to Lofoten. So we have just passed Rora and uh, we are going to try to drive around 600 kilometers if we can today. Success! Some of you guys are maybe wondering, why exactly Lofoten? Well, because, why not? We were supposed to be traveling, but because of the lockdown that happened, we then decided to give road tripping a try and also experience the beauty of this country. My parents rented a motorhome where we stayed there for 8 days and drove almost 3,000 kilometers. It was really fun driving many hours a day, being able to see amazing rivers, lakes, forests, trees, snows, and many more. To make the most out of our little one-week vacation, my parents then decided to time this road trip on their 22nd anniversary, as well as my mother's 30th birthday. We were really lucky to find peace during these stressful times. Hey guys, so we are now in the new camping site where we're gonna stay for the rest of the night. It's in Kurgen, it's in North Norway, and we're just going to unpack the things now. I can show you the place real quick. Here's like the lake or river, and you have the other 
places where people can stay and others RVs as well. Hello guys, good morning. Um, this is the third day of this journey and I just want to let you know that uh, we'll stay here because it's raining and I think it's really dangerous if we just go straight to the road right now yeah, with the thought of that the road is slippery and something like that and also yesterday like uh, midnight we were having a dinner and then we found out that no more ferry trip going to Lofoten there were no more tickets for the ferry ride uh, it's actually crucial because in order for us to get to Lofoten we do need to take this whole RV inside the ferry boat into the Lofoten because that's the easiest and that's the fastest way for us to get there so that was the problem we found out that we didn't have uh, uh, we found out that there were no more tickets left so we were really sad we were like almost losing hope <laughs> so we we managed to find this camp before the rain uh, fell so we are a bit lucky so it, it's not good to drive when it is uh, raining especially uh, on this uh, road we are not familiar with the road and uh, so many ongoing constructions along the way so it's good that we finally have a place to stay for the night. That's our food for today. It's pretty sad, right? I mean, the feeling of planning your trip and driving all the way up just to know that there's no chance of you getting to your final destination. We really felt sad. If we only had extra time and more days on this trip, but sadly, we did not. But of course, we did not give up. Luckily, we found one ticket. We found one ticket to Lofoten. And it's actually okay because the only downside uh, with it is that uh, we lose one day. We were supposed to be in Lofoten today. But uh, the only ticket that was available was uh, for tomorrow. It will be the same. We hope that the weather will be okay. What's up guys? So now we are finally here in Lofoten, Norway and we're gonna start hacking now as you can see we have all our bags and everything It's so hot guys Ooh. When I go down, I'm gonna drink a lot of water I'm gonna eat a sandwich then I'm gonna continue my journey Okay guys, we are now halfway through the mountain. Yo guys, we made it. We made it to the top. As you can see behind me, it's the city.
good. Second life. The journey was fun, but for me, the highlight was when we watched them meet my son together while waiting for my parents' 22nd anniversary and celebrating my mother's 40th birthday. For me, that was everything. Having your family beside you, sitting around each other, watching the sunset, it felt like a perfect captured moment. Papa, Kat Kat and Bruce all together. This is truly an amazing journey. I'll never forget. This trip wouldn't be possible without my parents. Thank you so much Papa and Mama for all the sacrifices you made for our family. Thank you for always being there and always guiding us. Keep loving each other and hope for more amazing adventures with our family in the future. Me, Kat Kat and Bruce love you so much. Hello guys, so that's it for the video. I hope you guys liked it. If you guys liked it, please hit the thumbs up so I can make more videos like this. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go back to Oslo tomorrow. So see you guys in the next video.